Hey, here we are in our ninth Trivia Tuesday since we last had class together. Uh, I was able to see my mom and my grandmother for Mother's Day, and they helped me choose some of these questions, so this is kind of in honor of my mom and grandma. Hi, thanks, I love you. Uh, here's a question that you might find pretty, pretty easy. Let's find out. So what I want to know is what German sandal maker sold more cork-soled shoes between 1992 and 1994 than they sold in the previous 20 years combined? I feel like that question already has a lot of clues in it. If you want a clue, I will tell you that these shoes were popular when I was a teenager, and they're popular again now. Many of you might have a pair of them. Some of you might wear them with socks, while others might argue that to wear socks with sandals is blasphemous. Do you know? If not, I'm going to tell you right now. More Birkenstocks were sold between 1992 and 1994 than were sold in the entire 20 years previous. Now they're experiencing a resurgence, and they sold 25 million pairs in 2018 alone. That's a lot of sandals. Let's go to a question a little bit closer to home. You know about Ellis Island, right? Uh, well, I want, what I want to know is this. Which two states fought over ownership of the island in court? Uh, for many new immigrants to the United States in the early part of the 20th century, Ellis Island was one of the first times that they stepped foot onto American soil. Uh, Ellis Island was a major hub of immigration. Um, and it was where processing happened, where they recorded names and ages and country of origin for thousands of new migrants. In fact, my own great-grandfather was recorded at Ellis Island when he came to the United States from Finland. Uh, if you know much about Ellis Island, you probably know that a lot of immigrants wanted to settle in one of these two states, specifically a state with the same name as a major city in that state. If you guess New York, you're absolutely right, but I still want to know what one more state is uh, that fought with New York over ownership of Ellis Island. Any guesses? Do you need a hint? So just as New York is named after the English countryside region of York, this other state is also named after an area in the United Kingdom. I'll give you one more hint. It also starts with the word new. Not New Mexico, come on, did you get it? It's both New York and New Jersey that fought over Ellis Island in a court battle that went all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, the court eventually decided that Ellis Island was under New York jurisdiction, uh, though both states have finally decided to share the island, uh, though it's mostly part of the national park system. And you can visit Ellis Island and imagine what it must have been like 100 years ago when it was filled with people looking for a better, more prosperous life in the United States. Let's get even closer to home with this next question. And it's kind of obscure, but the answer was so interesting to me that I have to include it. And what I want to know is what novelty item was invented by John Stahlberger in Oregon City when he was trying to rehabilitate his injured knee? Or if I want to phrase it a little differently, maybe, um, in order to help him heal from a knee injury, what game did John Stahlberger and Mike Marshall invent? I find it super interesting this game kind of originated as a form of physical therapy in a way. And it was something that was actually pretty popular when I was in high school. And while it's kind of faded in popularity, you probably still know what this game is, and maybe you've even played it. It's also said um, that this the equipment, the equipment needed for this game is pretty small and simple. Uh, sometimes even soccer players will use it as a way of working on their ball handling skills. Any guesses? If you want to keep guessing, you can pause right now because I'm going to tell you that the game invented by two guys in Oregon City to help with knee rehab was called Hacky Sack. Isn't that kind of a strange origin? I love it. Um, I've got another interesting question for you guys. Uh, tattoos are becoming more and more popular, and with that also comes tattoo removal. Um, you get a tattoo, might not like it, 
you eventually want to get it removed. So what I want to know is this, what color of tattoo ink is easiest to remove? I'll give you a little bit of a hint um, because tattoos are removed using laser light. Uh, so the ink that should be easiest to remove should be a color that will absorb a lot of light rays. Does that help at all? Think back to your science classes. What color absorbs the most light? If you guessed that the color was black, you would be correct because black absorbs all of the light rays. Uh, when, I, when I was learning this, uh, I was kind of surprised to learn that the darkest color is the easiest to remove um, because when you think about dyes and stuff like that, that's often the opposite. Um, but once I kind of was like, oh yeah, the science, that makes sense. Uh, I really kind of found that it was, it was something that made sense to me. All right, our last question, of course, is a phobia. And I want to know what anthophobia is a fear of. Do you know? Be careful, because though it looks like anthrophobia, which is a fear of people, anthophobia is not a fear of anything human. But, and here's a clue, it is a fear of something that is living. Still too broad? Well, it's a fear of something living. It's not a fear of something that is mobile, meaning it doesn't move around, at least not on its own. It's, it is something that grows, for sure. If you just guess plants, you're going to have to be a little more specific. So with Mother's Day this last weekend, it is something that you might have bought for your mom or grandma or aunt. Did you guess flowers? If you did, you would be right. Anthophobia is a fear of flowers. Just so you know, I don't have a fear of flowers, and you can send me flowers anytime. It is my birthday this week, so, you know, flowers. So anyway, this wraps up our ninth Trivia Tuesday since we last saw one another. Uh, until next week, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, and send me some ideas for some trivia questions. I'd love to have your input. Thanks. Bye.